Well, hello everyone. Um, here is the video for the jQuery that I demonstrated last week, and this is the live view of what we'll be um, developing today. Um, there's quite a bit of uh, prep work for this. You have to have images that are the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, upload these um, the buttons for you. Uh, a couple of variety of those with a white black background or a black background and then I'm also going to post these pictures for you um, the pictures have to be the same size um, as you can see here uh, that would work a lot nicer um, so th again this is just a live view of what it's going to look like so let's get started I'm going to go ahead and shut this down um, I'm also going to supply two other video or two other files for you the jQuery files um, as I demonstrated I'm also going to uh, give you those links to the where those files are at okay so I have my file here my site open to where I have these files available and my images and I'm going to go ahead and create a new HTML and First, what we're going to do is we're going to lay out an area here for that by doing some insert div tags. So if you go to your layout and you insert a div tag, we're going to have about uh, four, four of these. We're going to have a, a wrapper for it. Go ahead and say new CSS and create an area for that to work at. I'm going to go ahead and give that a background color so that you can see what that looks like. And under box, I'm going to give that a dimension. And again, this is based on <clears throat> the size of your images and also your uh, controllers, your next and previous buttons. In this case, my width of my entire uh, uh, area, which I'm going to work in again adding the dimensions of the width of the buttons and the images um, is going to be 924 and the height is going to be 320. I'm going to go ahead and unmark sync for all and margin and I want this to center so what I'm going to do is put in right for auto and left auto. Apply and say OK and OK. <clears throat> now you can see my area here that I'm going to work on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete content for ID wrapper goes here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And right at that insertion point, I want to go ahead and add another div tag. I'm going to go ahead and insert div at insertion point. And this is going to be my previous. I'm just going to name that priv. And new CSS rule, say OK. Under box, I'm going to go ahead and give that a dimension. Uh, basically, it's going to match the width of the button itself, which is 62. And again, I'm going to make this 320. And um, while we're in here, we can actually add our float. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to add a left float to that. And I'm also going to give that a background color of black. And while I'm in here as well, I'm going to go ahead and insert that button for previous. I'm going to go to my images folder. And I'm going to go ahead and select my previous button. Say OK. And I'm going to give that no repeat. And in the positioning here I want that to be centered so I'm going to go ahead and uh, the vertical uh, area for center say OK and OK so there's that it also gives you that um, text in there you can't really see it but if I go over here to split view you can see that it says content for ID previous goes here I'm going to go ahead and delete that Click OK. 
Now right after that, I'm going to go ahead and insert another div. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the div for the images. And this is going to be the actual slider. New CSS rule. I'm going to go to box and give that a width of 800 by 320. And again, I'm going to give that a float of left. I'm going to hit apply and OK. OK on that. Again, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Content for ID slider goes here. Just hit delete. And right after that, I'm going to go ahead and insert my last div. And that's going to be my next on the CSS rules. I'm going to go ahead and add that background of black box. I'm going to give them another 62 by 20. Go ahead and float that to the left. Find my next button image. Insert that. Again, no repeat. And center. Okay, and there it is. Now you can see here I have my layout for the slider with the control buttons. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start inserting those images that are going to be uh, functioning as my slider. So I'm going to go ahead and insert image. And again, my, my cursor is right in that div there. Let me do that again. Cancel this. And make sure that, again, my cursor is right in the center of the slider there. Insert image. I'm going to insert image one. It's a good idea to put accessibility attributes in there. I'm just going to say OK on there. For this demonstration, I'm just going to do a quick rendition of inserting the images, one right after the other. Image three, insert image, image four, say OK, OK. And you can see here that you can see all those images just one right after another inside of that div. Pull that out, see they're over here. Um, you can do one more thing here if you don't want to see the images like this and you want to see more of a preview of what that's going to look like on your page instead of going to live view you can always go to CSS go back into the slider in positioning in overflow you can choose hidden and that will merge all of those images together for you so you can get a better sense of what that's going to look like inside of your web page without having to hit um, preview. And at this point I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to save this index1 because I already have another index in there. And now is the point where you want to go ahead and add your scripting to this. So right in this head area, you've got your CSS, you've got your title. Right before the closing tag on your head here, 
what you want to do is right before that add a space maybe a couple spaces and then you want to go to window and again oh I've got my layout open already so you want to make sure that your, your insert uh, menu is showing and here it is under common you want to go over to script and hit there and the type is going to be text JavaScript and what we're going to do is we're going to attach a link to that Jack JavaScript at jQuery so I have a, a folder made up here for jQuery I'm going to double click there and the first script that I'm going to put in is this jQuery um, 1.9.1 I'm going to go ahead and select that and say OK and then OK and then I'm going to go ahead and insert the other one by doing the same thing hitting script up here in common browsing for my jQuery and this one's going to be the jQuery.cycle.all select hit OK and there you have it you have your jQuery in there. I'm going to go ahead and save that at this point. And then we have one more step here. We need to put in the scripting uh, to match up with our divs here. Um, for that, you can go over to uh, the web again. I'm going to launch Google Chrome. And I'm going to Google for jQuery. That should take us to the plugin here. Um, this site has various um, scripting uh, to allow you uh, to control the way you want your uh, pictures to come in and out. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to Intermediate Demos Part 1. And since I'm using a no, oh, wait a minute. It is not that one. It must be in the media demo part two. Here it is. I want these click transitions previous and next. Okay. So this is the one I want because I have my clicker here. I have some controllers. I want to go ahead and use this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to copy that. <clears throat> go back into Dreamweaver and the first thing before you want to copy that is you want to go ahead and give that this script Oops. script type again equals text JavaScript and this should help you out a little bit here and <clears throat> close that. I'm going to go ahead and control V now. And right after that, I'm going to get this a closing script. <clears throat> now, here you can see that uh, this is where your name for your actual div where the images are being held at is going to go. Uh, I named that slider so the ID of slider and then for next I'm going to take out this 2 because uh, my divs don't have that then I'm going to go ahead and file save I'm also going to change I'm going to take out timeout here sure that the syntax is kind of the same here if you're taking something out. I'm going to take out speed as well. I'm going to put in another effects right where speed goes. And this is going to be scroll horizontal. So I want that to scroll horizontally. And you simply just type in scroll capital H-O-R-Z 
go ahead and I'll, I'll save that. And then I'm going to go ahead and preview. Excuse me. So now you can see that that's working just the way I want it to. It's actually scrolling on its own. Um, but then it also allows the viewer to click back to another image or forward at their own pace. And that's the way you do a jQuery uh, as I demonstrated in class. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put those files up for you so that you can use them. I'm also going to use the, again, put the images up there for you so you can give this a try. And uh, I hope that you, you do try it and uh, that you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in class.